Hi, my name is Amanda Metter, and I am the scenic artist here at the Children's Theater. My job is to take the materials that the designer gives me and translate them into life-size scenery. Um, so, for example, here is the model that you guys saw in one of our earlier videos. And what I have out here on stage so far is I've already finished painting the floor and the lamp post, which is this little guy here, and then some of these gears. The shapes on the floor were made by giant stencils made out of Luan, which coincidentally ended up being also these gears that are hanging. Um, I just laid them on the floor and then moved them around as I needed to, and I used uh, garden sprayers, like three different sprayers with several different colors and sprayed a layer and then moved it and sprayed a layer and moved it. In the process, the stencils got painted, so we cut them up and put them on frames and hung them in the air. Um, and here they are. This one right here on the model is this big guy over here. Now you can see it's the model comes really tiny and we have to make everything really big. <laughs> it's, our, it's my job along with Michael, the technical director, to figure out the best way to do that and the way to make it look the best. The only other finished piece of scenery we have on stage right now is the lamp post, which is right over there on stage left. And here's the model piece. It's really teeny tiny. This one I used, I didn't, I used a different technique than I did on the floor. I used paint brushes and rags and just kind of smushed it all together and then I sprayed a little bit for shadowing and that was it. Sherlock Holmes The Final Adventure runs from September 13th to October 7th and we have shows at 2 and 6.30 on Saturdays and 2 o'clock on Sundays. And this show is geared for families and children ages 10 and up. So that's done, these are done, we've got two more big pieces and a couple of props and things to do and that's about it. Mm -hmm.